Hey everyone, Rust Quick Electric here again with you today to go over a frequently done but very rarely understood basic nighttime automatic lights with a solar panel, as you can see up there, and a battery. Now, I'm going to go through the wiring while actually explaining it because a lot of the people are just putting schematics to use without having a better understanding and once you begin to understand the actual components you can start actually making your own things and understanding why it works and how to connect things so the two tools that we're using today is an electrical branch as well as a uh, electrical blocker now the idea behind this is that we have to use a solar panel which a lot of people, of course, before they start thinking about it, will be like, well, why would I use a solar panel when I have a wind turbine? Well, obviously, because if you want the lights to be automatic at night, the solar panel has to stop receiving an electrical input from the sun, whereas a wind turbine would not, and that will allow the trigger of the block pass-through to cease, therefore allowing the lights to turn on through the battery. So we're going to start off with the solar panel electrical output heading on down in and make this neat to our electrical branch power in. Now, the reasoning behind the electrical branch is because we want our solar panel during the daytime to be able to flow into the small rechargeable battery which will give 15 minutes time. Now, you can add multiple batteries, use a large battery, it doesn't matter here but for the sake of this, we're just using one. Now, the actual power out of the electrical branch will be going to our battery. Meaning that power will continue to flow on through into the battery while the solar panel receives power. But it's currently a full battery, so it won't at this point. Now, the branch out which also sends power out as there is a electrical input to the branch. So it comes out this with a set amount that you can configure here. And it also comes out the power out with the remainder that fits through this channel. So the branch out is going to go into the blocker block pass through. Now what this means is, and you'll see that the lights just changed here, this light just turned to a red. Now, unless both of these lights are green, there will be no power output from the blocker. The reason it works is because the electrical branch is sending a charge signal through to the block pass-through, which is triggering the block of flow from point A to point B, up towards where our light source would be. So, in order to make these electrical at night, we're going to have the power in from the blocker, go to the power output of the battery. Now, that means when this eventually loses its power from nighttime, the power will cease to come through until it's fully night. This will stop powering the block pass-through. This light will turn green, and then it will begin to draw power up through the battery, through this channel, and through to whatever your input source is, say it be the lights here, Let's see if we can get that there, to which you can pass through the lights to multiple other ones. Um, it's all going to come down to the size of your battery, but they're already all wired up to go to each other. And this will continue on until the instant that the solar panel receives a power source input from the sun again, therefore bringing the power back into here, branching it back out into block pass through, and making the connection as such where it seizes the power flow through through the battery meaning all the power will be draining directly into the battery i hope this clears up some confusion with people and uh people begin to get a better understanding of how to use these components i hope to be more clear and explain it thoroughly so as with any video i will link the schematic for this building plan in the description and hope you have a wonderful day